Hi, I'm Chef Raphael and welcome to another episode of Baking with Chef Raphael, a show that is meant to make you use your oven at home. Now, today I'm going to make something different. Uh, we're not going to bake, I'm going to show you how to make buttercream frosting and even how to pipe and decorate your cupcakes. For the ingredients for the buttercream, I have 500 grams of icing sugar and for for 500 grams, I'll need 250 grams of uh, margarine. You can also use butter because, in fact, the name that comes from it is buttercream because you can use butter. The first thing I always say whenever you're doing any recipe is um, you need to weigh the ingredients. And then when it also comes to the margarine, it depends with the variant you have. Like the one I have here has a vanilla flavor, which is good because it will give the buttercream some... Um, nice flavor all you need to do is add the icing sugar to the margarine if i'm going to use the hand mixer or even a whisk when i do it when when you add it immediately to the butter and just start mixing the, the icing sugar will be all over you and all over the surface so you should actually just fold the icing sugar. What is happening is incorporating air into the the margarine uh, to, to, to the buttercream and what is will happen is that it will become fluffy and light. From the yellow color it will start turning to a pale yellow color. This I feel is a good consistency whereby as you scoop it and it falls it's it's not hard and it's not too soft. And for the chocolate one, it's simple, you just scoop out. You have two options. You have an option of adding cocoa powder to this one, or like in my case, I decided to do this a little bit earlier because my chocolate is about to become solid. Now, depending on how, how, how brown, how dark you want it, uh, that's how, you, how much more chocolate or cocoa you'll add. So that's the chocolate buttercream. Like I said, with your piping bag, you have a piping bag like this. What I've just done is folded it into that and then hold it with one hand um, like that so, um, so that when you're scooping the buttercream, you can receive it using the other hand and then open it up and then once it's like that you push the buttercream and press until it comes out so when it comes to piping the trick is in um, how you hold the piping bag this hand is usually meant to direct your piping bag as you go round so when you're pressing it you apply even pressure and you go around like you're going up the stairs when i said you need it when it's a little bit soft is because when it's coming out from the nozzle it will come out in an easier um, it can it come out easily as compared to if it's very hard the chocolate one will be fine mixing with the white one but the problem when you're having different colors and you're using white pumping bag you need to rinse off the first color uh, so that um, you don't get undesired mix-up of colors. And what I'm trying to get is a um, marble effect so that you actually have two different colors in one. And what we have is a combination of brown and white. So another way of decorating the cupcakes is to have sprinkles. Um, like I can put a little bit of this ones here, like that. Or sometimes you can use small um, flowers. Some of these things is stuff that you can buy in the supermarket and just have different colors and that will go together when you contrast them. So the most important thing when it comes to frosting and buttercream is the buttercream itself. 
So as you have seen how to make it, make sure it actually helps if it's a little bit soft, but on the hardest, but still not too soft. So, and to be able to achieve these results. I've been your host, Chef Raphael, and look forward to next time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to be updated whenever I post a new recipe.